We are repeatedly reminded about the importance of reflecting over the bounties, the boons and the favors of the Almighty. So Allah has blessed us with vision, with the hearing ability, with a spouse, with children, with accommodation, etc. And then there is the other bounty of the Almighty which we really reflect over and that is Allah has rescued me from, protected me from, safeguarded me against. We often look at the positive side in the context of a bounty which is great and wonderful, but really do we include the other dimension as a bounty of Allah as well. In the 16th juz of the Quran, in the 20th chapter, in verse 117 to 119, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam that remember the devil is your enemy. Let him not expel you from paradise, lest you find yourself in difficulty. And then Allah reminded Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam that in Jannah you have been safeguarded against four things. There's no hunger for you, there's no thirst for you, there's no looking for shelter or clothing, all this is available. So the scholars of Tafsir say it releases a hint to impress upon us that the ni'mah of Allah is what he favored us and equally from the challenges against which he rescued us. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu passed by a person who was afflicted in many ways. Ajdam, he was suffering leprosy. A'ma, he was visually impaired. Abkam, he had speech impairment. Asam, he had hearing impairment. So he addressed those around who were sympathizing and empathizing on this individual. Do you people observe any bounty of Allah upon this individual? They answered in the negative, no, not at all. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu then said, don't you see that he has the ability to control consume water and pass urine with ease, without any difficulty. He can pass urine without difficulty, pain, discomfort, and this also is the bounty of Allah. The message is as challenging as the moment is, it could be worse. In fact, in uh, Ruhul Ma'ani under this ayah, وَإِن تَعُدُّ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا Where Allah says, if you were to count his bounties, you will never be able to count it. There is a quotation of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu that he said that even the occupants of hell are recipients of a particular bounty of Allah. If Allah so wanted, he could unleash a more severe torment on the occupants of hell, but he did not do so. So if that's the message to the occupants of hell, surely we take a cue from it that whatever challenges we find ourselves in, it could be more intense, it could be more severe. So be grateful and remind yourself, Allah saved you against so many more challenging situations. May Allah bless us with a grateful tongue and a grateful heart.